Welcome, in this video I will briefly describe how you can use Apple Intelligence on your iPhone. First of all, this feature is available for each iPhone model starting with 15 Pro and Max versions. So iPhone series 16 and 17 are all eligible for using this feature, but all the versions that go before iPhone 15 Pro and Max are not. And therefore you will have to now have one of these models and also in order to use this feature your iPhone has to be updated to at least iOS 18.1 or later uh, and in order to enable it you're gonna have to go to settings navigate down to Apple intelligence and Siri and switch the toggle to the right next to Apple intelligence and also download and install the package with it and uh, some uh, some uh, most uh, usable features uh, that come with uh, Apple Intelligence are, for example, visual intelligence, which lets us uh, point our camera on some object or scan our screen for object ID uh, and even add some events to calendar based on it. Uh, for example, I'm gonna take a quick photo of the plant I have around here. Uh, it's an artificial plant, so uh, Identifying it, it doesn't really make any sense, but but still, since it's an artificial uh, plant, it was uh, still based off some real plant. And in order to identify this uh, real plant, we're gonna have to basically just tap on our photo, then select the information icon at the top, at the bottom bar of uh, the photo. And as you can see, iPhone has already found uh, which uh, plant uh, it's based off so it's Burris tail and if we tap on look uh, look up we can see the uh, similar web images and we can also read more about the original plant in here now the the other cool feature in iOS uh, in Apple intelligence is uh, removing uh, removing unwanted objects or people from the photos uh, using cleanup tool. So let me just quickly find a photo in the gallery that has some object on it. That's perfect. Now if I want to remove this logo right here, uh, what I'm gonna have to do is tap edit at the bottom, then select cleanup, and then we're gonna have to wait until the cleanup is prepared and uh, then either circle an object that we want to remove from the photo or we can also uh, brush over it or we can also just tap on it and let uh, the intelligence identify an object so let me circle it well not quite uh, but still let, let's do this one more time so let me uh, instead uh, select clean up and then let's brush over it and as you can see this tool does a fairly good job, though it's still pretty, pretty laggy and messy. I'm not sure why it's working this way, but uh, it's given pretty interesting results still. Uh, so it's uh, it not always works perfectly, as you can see, but uh, in most cases it does a pretty good job. And uh, the next feature that I want to show you is writing tools that are available with Apple Intelligence, uh, which are, for example, available in the Notes application. So in order to use writing tools, we have to either tap uh, this icon right here or select, uh, select some text on the screen and tap on this icon right here. Uh, in my case, I'm going to work with the entire document. So let me just tap right here and then we can describe our change, the change that we want to provide in this document. For example, we can, we want, we may want to now make it shorter and so more understandable or, or not even more understandable and understandable for English speaker. And let's see what it does. Uh, 
And as you can see, in this case, it would like to use chat GPT. So let it use the chat GPT. Okay, and it inserted the text in here. Uh, I'm not sure why actually, but let's let's go let's go back. Uh, let's. Uh, I think it just selected some part of the text, though I wanted to uh, work with an entire text piece. So let let me just try this one more time. Translate it to English. Okay, and let's use ChatGPT. Okay, uh, so I think uh, the translation will not go uh, as smoothly as I want, I, I would want it to. But still, we get a fully translated text uh, entered right after after the original text. So let's let's do it without a translation. So let's uh, simply say it, make it shorter. Oh, and it and it's still and it still uses ChatGPT. Ch okay, <laughs> let, let me just uh, make a couple of changes here. Okay, okay, and now we can see that they, they, it actually made the text short, shorter. Uh, we can return to the original, we can rewrite this text uh, to get the new version. If you don't like the changed, the first changed version, we can also navigate between them. And let's return to the original and let's see what else we can do in here. So we can proofread the text, we can rewrite the text, we can make it sound friendlier, more professional. Uh, we can also concise the text. Uh, so basically what we just did, uh, we can summarize it, we can, we can uh, get some key points out of text, we can make a list out of it, we can make a temp table uh, out of it, or we can compose it using chat GPT. And this feature not, is not only available in the notes application, but also in Siri and your mail apps too. Besides, we can also create our own Genmoji and uh, uh, use uh, and create images w using images play playground to quickly create a Genmoji you just have to open a chat with uh, any person open a text field tap on your emoji icon and then tap on plus uh, Genmoji and then you just have to either describe a Genmoji or add a suggestion from for, from the list you can, we can for example merge two Genmojis uh, just tap in on them then we can also switch between different ver versions of this described Genmoji. Let's uh, actually merge three Genmojis at once to get a new one. And to generate photos or pictures, let's go to the app library and let's open the pre-installed application called Playground. Let's create a new image. So once again, we can uh, now here we can not only create a Genmoji, but also an illustration, a sketch or animation style uh, picture. So let's say we want to create a disco, a disco chef, a disco chef. Okay. Now, now we can also choose a person for this, uh, but uh, in order for, for you to do this, you're going to have to uh, have some some sort of person in your contacts list. Uh, so in my case, I'm just going to select uh, appear appearance, which will basically just uh, give us a generated person. And so these are the photos that AI generated for us. So I cannot uh, think of many uses for this feature, despite being a, uh, except for being a playground, a, a literal playground for you to to do something when you feel bored. And besides, uh, we can also um, besides we can also search for photos and videos in uh, our gallery uh, using natural language. So 
basically if when you're looking for some photo or video on your gallery you just have to uh, search for what you're looking for it can be a text from a photo uh, it can be just a description of what you can see on a photo so for example let's uh, in, in the tower and so uh, let's see if our iPhone finds any, anything like tower in our photos or it doesn't it's not finding anything so let it be logo maybe some logos will be found no but maybe a plant okay plant okay some results may not appeared uh-huh okay maybe then people okay for some reason it's not finding anything maybe it's because we are connected to the Wi-Fi or because maybe I'm, I'm not just not giving it enough time to think about it okay let's uh, try once again let's give it some time Okay, so for some reason it just didn't find the photos, but it's most probably because my storage is full uh, and uh, iPhone simply didn't organize the photos, but generally speaking it's a pretty easy to use tool and you can basically find anything you're looking for using a natural language uh, describing what you want to see on your photo and therefore find photos on your iPhone pretty easily. And that's basically it for this video. I think I just listed uh, everything, uh, everything, uh, all, all, all the best features, AI features iPhone has in it, uh, iPhones have in them. Uh, and so uh, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave us a like in the comment below and I'll see you in the next one.